So in ProPresenter 5, they introduced the ability to add cues that clear things. So that's really actually very helpful if you want to go directly to black here, for example. I could add in a slide right here. And once I add that in, I could also, um, here, let's get out a contiguous view. Once I add in that slide here, if I had a background going, that wouldn't disappear. But if I wanted to um, have everything disappear, I could add a clear all cue. Great. That, that solves some problems for me, actually. But what's great about ProPresenter 6 is we've actually added well, Renewed Vision has. I don't have any affiliation with them. They've added in a few more options for you in what's called the Q palette. So let's right click or control click on one of these slides and let's, where it says Add Q, then go down to Q palette. And you'll notice that we have some additional options. So I can clear all just like I did before. I can clear audio. I can clear the background, clear the live video, clear the props. That's cool. I can add in a video or image, uh, audio or live video. Also cool. Now I can do some other stuff like this stage display cue, which we're going to talk about in a second uh, on one of the other videos. Multi-screen or a timer, so I can have a timer show up and uh, change to the multi-screen view here or uh, not. So this might actually be very helpful if I've got a uh, triple head to go and I want to briefly put up the same thing on all three of my screens and then I want to go to the, the multi-screen view right here. So that actually might work out really, really well if I'm adding in a transition of elements uh, from, say, iMag on certain screens to the triple head to go triple wide view. So that's something really cool as well. And I know a church in France that might really need this. So I'll tell them all about this and Presenter 6.